This is a series of video lessons for the Grade 12 English Home Language students within the IEB curriculum. The lessons are to be used in the fourth genre option, which includes film study. Before we can start with the work, we need to understand what is expected of us. For this information, you need to consult the IEB Subject and Assessment Guidelines, known as the SAGS document. This gives us the framework within which we'll study the prescribed films. On this slide are three main points from the preamble to this section. Firstly, as a film viewer, you must understand why a director makes certain choices. Secondly, you should be able to use the correct terminology when discussing and writing about the films which we study. And thirdly, you must be able to explain how the director has made the film in order to convey specific character traits and to highlight certain themes. In other words, you must be very clear on the differences between studying a play or a novel and studying a film. They are not the same. The nitty gritty of the technical aspects that you must study are also given in the SAGS document. We'll see how the director uses the camera as a storytelling device how the soundtrack adds value to the film, who has been cast to act in the film and why, and the various filmic techniques used by the director. For example, how the camera has been angled, how the film has been edited to create a thought-provoking movie. Although the theory of film study is important, you won't be expected to memorize lists of terms and their meanings. You will be expected to know why particular camera shots and angles have been used, how and why the camera moves in a certain way, how and why color is used, and how the actors are dressed, made up, and made to act. You'll have to think about the soundtrack, remembering that the term soundtrack does not just refer to the choice of music used in a film. You'll have to be able to analyze different frames from the film, explaining why every item is there, what's in the front, what's in or out of focus, everything that goes into creating the picture that the director wants you to see. By the end of this process, you should be using the correct film terminology, such as index and icon, leaving the terminology of literature for the drama and novel study. In the IEB, teachers are able to select certain topics within the fourth genre curriculum. This year, my students are studying the evolution of the director, Catherine Bigelow, using her two films, The Hurt Locker and Zero Dark Thirty, as the illustrative film texts. As we work through each film, my students will use these packs to guide their understanding and thinking of Catherine Bigelow's work. It would be remiss of me not to give a very grateful shout out to my IEB colleague, Mr. Vaughan Carlyle, who was incredibly generous in sharing his own resources with me. Thank you, Vaughan. Of course, the first questions that students usually ask me are, is this for marks and what's in the test? The IEB requires two assessments for the fourth genre. The first one is this 60 mark task which you'll complete as we work our way through the films. It counts, as you see, 60 marks and forms part of the SBA mark. That's the schools based assessment or portfolio mark, which will be submitted to the IEB at the end of the third term.
The second assessment is the formal test, which is written under exam conditions. It counts 30 marks. This year, it will be in the format of a literary essay in response to the director and films that we are studying. As you see, it's 30 marks included in the SBA mark. There are no other assessments for the fourth genre. You will not be writing on these films in any other exams be it prelims or the finals in November. When we are done with the fourth genre in term one, we're done. So it really is worthwhile to do your very best with the task and to prepare thoroughly for the test, as these will be marks deposited in the bank for English home language. This video series deals with the technical and more generic aspects of film study, so you'll be able to apply them to any of the films which you have selected to study. Should you have any queries, please feel free to contact me using the email address that you see on the screen.